Hello there. Hello there. Come in. Thank you very much. Did you find the place easy enough? Oh yes, there was no problem. Hey, wow, your home is really beautiful. Thank you. If I ever get a place of my own, I'd love to live in a place like you this. You don't have a place of your own, Mason? No, I live with my mother to help out. <laughs> what can I get you, chai tea, coffee? I'd love a tea if it's fresh, if not coffee. <laughs> so beautiful when you were a child. I mean, you still are quite beautiful, of course. <laughs> My brother took that photograph of us. <laughs> we had gotten a camera with grocery store stamps. You remember those green stamp stores? They were some good bargains. It was my job to cut out the stamps. And I would put all of them in a book. If I lost any, my brother would beat me. How long has it been since you've seen your family? What made you think I haven't seen them? Your conversation with your mother the other day. I'm sorry, I never intended to rub salt in your wound. That's what I had gathered from the conversation. I guess your mother is the only one you speak to on the telephone in secret. It must be your father then. My family relations are none of your business, Mason. I didn't call you over so that I could talk about myself tonight. Fair enough. What did you call me over for then? I don't have much time. <clears throat> What's on your mind? I think that Gerald has... that Gerald decided to go to the police. Yes, I know. I saw him at the station. Did he tell you why he was there by any chance? He wanted to get information about Mrs. Daphne's investigation. And you believed his story? Why shouldn't I have? I think that Gerald told the police about Kareem, that's why. It's possible. It occurred to me as well. I hope he hasn't done such a thing, though. But if he has done it, is this very bad for Kareem's safety? If this leaks to the press, it will be very bad. 